Bow Tracer just got a complete rework from the ground up. Whereas before, all it would do is mark low health targets and grant a damage boost towards those low health targets. Now, it technically still marks, but in addition, it will give you times four surges. Or in other words, a 25% damage buff for the weapons matching your subclass. And for comparison, if you were to triple stack your legs, it would only be a 22% increase for the selective weapon. So only a 3% difference. But here there is actually more than meets the eye. In more than one way, this is actually useful. And in this video, we will be damage testing to see how high we can push Foe Tracer to be. We will be going over base damage to compare everything to, along with just a standard 3 times surge build, then the Foe Tracer plus a 3 times surge build. Oh, and of course, one last thing, we are so close to 2 thousand subs so if you can and i would love you all for it as well is if you can hit that subscribe button for me that is all so getting into the meat of why i brought you here is for that day one hunter damage meta build now what makes foe tracer such an awesome pick is for the idea that you can split your surges as said already for example if you are a solar hunter using apex predator the times four surge boost from foe tracer will apply to apex and on your legs you can rock a three times kinetic surge if you're going for that Izanagi's hot swap rotation. This is of course just an example of what I am talking about. For the rotation I will be showing you is an even better damage rotation. This will be including Wither Horde, Wilder Flight, and Apex Predator. I know the reconstruction by Pot Apex is making its way up in the running, but for this video we are sticking to the bait and switch. We have a lot to go over so let's just get into it. Starting off with the base damage, Wither Horde applies for 1216 and then shortly after ticks for 6229. Wilder Flight is doing a solid 37,582 and Apex doing 93,036 on the first non bait and switch shot and then 125,598 for the bait and switch proc shot. Now for our damage rotations, we will be going up until the rockets are all out. I feel it's just for sanity's sake. Now for the nitty gritty, every time you apply Wither Horde in a rotation, it will do around 10 ticks of damage before the rotation reaches back around for the reapply. And from there, it will be doing an increased impact damage of 18,240 till the end of the damage phase. Now that you know that, time to apply all into a sheet to lay out the raw damage numbers. Now the rotation consists of Wither Horde, then Wilder Flight, then a double apex shot. Reload the apex, then start the cycle again. Doing that for a full 9 rockets later and the total damage reaches to 1.6 million. And for ideas sake, the buffs and debuffs are applied in the graph as well. But if you're only looking for the raw weapon damage for the build, just look no further than just the red bars. Now to add to this graph, the famed triple surge build that has been the only source for weapon buffs for a while now, outside of abilities of course, it will just be applied at a 22% increase in damage damage for Apex only. So with the number we already know for Wilder Flight and Wither Horde, all we need to do now is update the numbers for Apex. So with a triple solar surge active, the base shot will be going for 113,504, and the triple surge bait and switch shot will be going for 153,230. Now adding that into the sheet, we gain all the knowledge we already know. In terms of the surge mods, increasing Apex's damage by 22%. It only increases the total damage by 14% which in the end of the day is better than not getting an increase in your total output by 14%. But hunters are able to push this even further up with Foe Tracer. So going back into the base damage, Wilder Flight is the only weapon which damage won't be touched. Just wait until Bungie drops Solar Surge aggressive frame grenade launchers. This build would be peak. Now we will be running the triple kinetic surge on the legs and letting Foe Tracer just deal with the Apex Predator. For the triple kinetic Wither Horde shot, it will go for an initial impact of 1,484 for 10 ticks dealing 7,599 before the reapply. Then after the reapply, 22,252 for the impact and then 10 ticks of 7,599. Now for Apex, the base shot with times four surge active will be 116,000. 295 and the times four surge bait and switch will be 156,998 and when plugging into the raw damage calculation you get 2 million and some change and in terms of comparing it to the standard meta everyone is able to do this is only a 6% increase in a total rotation but in terms of the base damage a whole 21% better in terms of just raw total damage but of course not everyone can use wither horde so let's get into a very popular damage rotation is 
Mizanagi rockets. So the only new number we will be needing is Honed Edge with and without surges. So based times for Honed Edge is going for 112,448 and triple kinetic surge times for Honed will go for 137,186. And plugging those into two separate variations and we get here similar results. So not too bad really. And this isn't quite over yet. No, I'm not exactly talking about the monochromatic maestro, though that would be an additional 10% stacking here. I'm actually talking about hot swapping your exotics. In terms to activate Vote Tracer, all you need to do is land a melee or throw a grenade. Very easy to proc. So before damage even starts, you can just walk around with Star Eater scales until damage. Blast your empowered super on the boss, hot swap over to Vote Tracer, hopefully loadouts will be available by the time Crota Zen comes out, and then let it rip with your weapons. Now I hope I made this short and sweet enough. I know it was a lot of numbers just thrown at you, but in the end of the day, I do believe that Foe Tracer is a massive W in terms of scope. Hunters are more and more becoming identified as the DPS class, and though Foe Tracer is only a minor 6% better than the base rotations, it's a good step in the direction that sets it apart from the others, and gives them even more of a solid identity. Now only if Bungie can do this with the Titans, am I right? But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you have, a subscribe and like would be very much appreciated. I will be streaming my day one attempt here on YouTube and I would like to see some of you there. Take care all.